In this part, we're going to see how you can create an object value selector in order to select a value with a helper and assigning it also to the standard UI. So this is directly connecting to our previous video where we actually added an extension field, a seminar on our standard UI, the quote. But we don't want to enter a seminar, we would like to have select as a seminar that provides us a nice list that is also searchable and I can select from my seminars that I've created. Uh, respective item here. So we learn how to create such a selector and also how to assign it to the standard UI so it's being used. Okay, let's create the object value selector that allows us to select the seminar. For creating an object value selector, I do a right click here new. I add it normally to my folder where my custom BO is and I go to the screens and here I can select the object value selector. This one I will call here OVS. Uh, seminars. So because I can select with this different seminars, I need to select my business object, which is in this case my seminar management. I should find here under S, seminar management, yes. Okay, so you can also create uh, object value selectors in standard BO, so you can create your own value selectors, and this will open now with UI designer. So here we need to do a few things. We need to change something on the controller. So the first thing I do is I delete the standard query and I will add my own query. First going to edit mode here. So let's delete this query. Yes, and I create a Zadl query. They're a little bit faster than the standard queries. That's why this is recommended. I choose a result list. So where should the result be displayed? That's the result list in here already. I select the B model, that's my seminar management. And now I select the fields that I would like to be able to search for, to select them, for example, by name or by the seminar end date, seminar start date, um, seminar ID. Then I need to specify in the like search field what should be searchable. So I say here's the seminar ID and the name in this case. We could also add more, but I want to leave it like that. Also the teacher we could add here so that we can filter seminars by teacher and there are more things we can do here, but I will leave it like now, like this. And in the result list, it's very important we have the name and also let's add the ID and also start and the end date here. For now that's good. Again, we could also take values from the association and search by teacher name and so on. So we go up by participants. So we could really go much further here, but that's for it now. What did this do? I mean, this Zadl query now defined in our data model, basically here the search parameters and also the items here of our result list, because that's the result list we just selected. Okay, then because I deleted a query, I need to set it again here in the get value helper query. Here's a BO model. I also need to do it in the set value helper here, query and also the BO here. And uh, let me save and activate once. Okay, here I got an error you should not activate in that step. We first need to do the binding of our find form. So let's go here and make the last steps also here. So we now need to go to here. Yeah, we need to configure the search because also that we change. So for that, I click here advanced. Then I have the advanced list pane open and now I can click here on the find forms on the properties. So I can select the find form now. And in the find form, we need to specify what this search field here is using. That's this search text binding here. And we need to change it now to our search text that we see here in the search parameters from our Saddle query. Okay, I can confirm that with okay. And then I also need to um, set the default set. So this I do here and the default set mapping. I need to set this default set here to the right hand side and also specify the find form. And that's okay. So the default set you see here, that's here, that's the default query that is executed. Again, that you find also here, each query has its default set under so the standard search that is executed for the query. And again, the query fills here our data model. So what else we need to do? We need to bind these uh, fields here. So actually we would like to bind this one, object ID to our ID. So here we choose basically the seminar ID and the object name, this one, we will bind to our uh, name, the seminar, oh, the description here, okay. Ah, no, 
I forgot the name. Okay, I only added the description. Let's go back to our controller quickly, to our query. And here I selected not the name. I wanted to select the name and not the description. So let me change that here and here also this. Okay, and now let's go back. And now let's link his object name. So here we go to binding now again, data model. And now we have also the name here. Okay, and now we can select that. Um, now let me rename a little bit the captions here that they look nicer. Let's call this select seminar and let's call this here ID and name. And then we are already done. I mean, then we have modified the object value selector and then we need to add it to our UI in order to test it. But this is how you create a new object value selector. You can do this with any business object and um, yeah, you can have also more fields here. So let me do that. I mean, I can also show not ID name only here, but maybe also the seminar start date and the seminar end date. Let's make the sort order here a bit nicer. So I go here to my list columns here and sort them differently. So I put the name in the front start date first. Okay, that looks also nice. And let's make some quickly static text here so that the user cannot enter. I think he couldn't anyways. Okay, and when I didn't forgot anything, now we have done this basic setup for an object value selector that allows us to select a seminar from the list of seminars. Uh, in the next tutorial, we will add this to the screen um, and see how it looks like. But this is how to create an object value selector. Okay, in this video, we take a look how we can assign an object value selector that we have created in the previous tutorial to a standard screen. Um, so for that, you need to open a standard screen. In our case, we wanted to add to the quote TI to the products our value selector. And here we added an extension field seminar from type ID. And when we select, then here's this area and then go to the extensibility explorer. We have the option change ID field configuration. And this allows us to add any OVS object value selector to the ID field. So if we click that, we see that we can add to the fields of type ID, like here's a line item, add uh, our own object value selector. So we could select the standard component from the public OVS here, like you know it also in our own UIs, like uh, employee selector, material, partner, employee. It doesn't help us. We want to have our own because we want to select seminars here from our custom view. For that, we go to browse and then choose our solution and choose here custom object seminar management and here's the OVS for seminars that we have created and this is what I'm going to choose. Okay, you have different options here, for example, prevent query execution, then the user needs to click another button so that the query, the search is executed, but we want to have it automatically. You could also insert parameters that would limit your search result, but we also don't want that. Okay, I click OK and um, then I apply here. For now, we don't do any settings here. Okay, now we need to save and activate. And then let's take a look if our previously created OBS is working on our screen here. Okay, let's look at one of our seminars here. Let's open it. Let's take a look at the product. So here we have our general seminar and here we have a seminar number. And now we have this new icon here. And if you click on that, we get a list of all the seminars and we can assign a mathematics class here, seminar two or a programming two class. And I can always select now the seminars. I can also search. I can search for German, for example, and I get only the German lesson. I select this one and I have seminar one here and I can save. So with that, I have a nice selector now on the screen that we built on our own, assigned it to this field and can select now seminars from our list of available seminars. I mean, this is not really a link. So this general seminar has automatically in reporting, for example, could have now all uh, linked attribute of the seminar. So we can join data sources and then we could really nicely report also on these seminars. Also, what we would like to have to maybe see other attributes here, for example, we would like to see the name of the seminar instead of the number here. And that is what I'm going to show in the next tutorial, where we're going to use this ID here to retrieve other attributes of the seminar and display them here, for example, like the name of the seminar. 
um, but that's what we're going to do in the next tutorial because I want to explain a bit how to retrieve values and how to do this in the upsell coding and then display this here on the UI. I hope this helped you how to create object value selectors and also assign them to a script.